All right, what's up, guys? Uh, so last night I was out mini Z racing, and Ken from the shop Mini RC was there. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Really nice guy. Um, earlier he had a giveaway, and on these Mantis high clearance links, and I won them. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, today we're gonna be putting these on the Jeep. This is for uh, an adapter for behind the axle steering. Still need to figure that out. But yeah, let's get right into this guy. I, I think I'm gonna do a full installation video on this one, so stay tuned. Let's see, or right here, you know what? No, first I actually gotta get these tires off. And that's not the right tool. All right, I'll be back once I find the tool. All right, I'm back, found it. So, let's get this guy off. Um, the other day, I was at, uh, out crawling with a friend and I actually blew my ESC. That thing started smoking. And that was scary. I was like, quick, unplug the batteries and stuff. And yeah, that was not a very good, great day though. I, I broke an axle in this car and then I, when I get to Hobbytown, I asked him for a rear axle, not remembering that this car's rear steer. Luckily, I had an extra at home, though. So, all right, that guy's off. Now we need to get this guy off. Pull him off. Um, yeah. I have a feeling these links are going to be amazing. I don't know if I'm going to keep them on this car, though. Because, you know, this car... I probably will, but... Right now I'm running the hot racing aluminum steering links. Or, er, links. Not steering links. Uh, let's see. Does it matter which one is what? I think it does. Here, I can pull that guy out. I think it's going to go something like that? No, that doesn't look right. I think it's gonna go. Oh, wait a second. Like this, I believe. I think so. Yep, that looks about right. There we go. That's a little better. So let me just get these screws back in here. This guy will be done in no time. Comment down below what type of videos you guys like to see. What do you like more? Crawling? Me working on the car? Um, the reviews and stuff? Just comment down below. What's your favorite uh, style of a video? Alright, sorry. I'm not, I don't know. This is probably going to be a long video. But that's alright. Just gonna have to hang in there. Make sure that this pin is in there right. There we go. Alright, that guy's good. Let me just screw that guy on. Oh, I forgot to thread lock these. I'll do that later. Because these do fall off. I had that happen the other day, and I was lucky that I found it. I lost a wheel, and then I was, uh, then later I was like not thinking I was gonna find that at all. Oop, dropped me. But I was lucky. I thought I knew the spot that it dropped, and I was right. Picked, turned over a rock, and there it was. So yeah, don't uh. Don't lose these. It's not good. Let's see. One trick to know if your tires are tight enough is uh, if you wiggle it, the other tire should wiggle a little bit. So yeah, that's about perfect. Let me get this guy off. I'll do a side by side comparison. So I'll leave one side right now with the stock links and one side without them. You know, I probably should have Taking some footage with the other links, but that's all right. Not come off yet. 
No, I think I want the wrong one. There we go. Still not coming. Hmm. These spacers are great, but the wheel nuts are can be kind of a pain. They don't fit all rims either, like the RC four wheel drive ones, the uh, deep dish rims. I think we had to drill those out because it just did not like it. There we go. All right, now I gotta yank this guy off. I really do like these spacers though because they add a lot of weight. As you can see, they're a little disc brake on there, and they would. Uh, they're plus five millimeters. I don't remember how much how much they weigh, but they weigh a lot. I think these li links are looking really, really good. I think I'm really gonna enjoy these. This one, here we go. All right, uh, I, I don't know if I'm a big fan of how these, uh, they're like straight. They don't, I'll show you guys in a minute, but uh, I don't know if I like the really like, the way that like this is set up. There we go. Alright, that one's on there. Alright, time for this guy on the top here. It's getting hot. It's getting closer to summer. I was down at uh, Red Rocks Elementary yesterday, but whew, it was really hot. We were lucky to find a spot in the shade. Not much crawling happened, though, because... Uh, had a lot of broken cars. Like this car. Was busted. Had the busted axle. Uh, the rock bouncer blew his receiver right away. That guy's over here. I gotta put some oil in these shocks still. I'm really liking the way that car turned out though. Hmm, this is weird. This guy does not want to go in here. Yeah, I'll turn that a little. There we go. That might work. Alright, sorry. That one was being a little weird, but got it finished. Let's put on this tire. Let's see here. Uh, Alright. I love this car. Now that we have magnetic body mounts on this, it's so much easier to get access to not have to worry about those little tiny pins and losing them that was a pain do not miss those at all not one bit jeez dropping everything feels way too tight Yep, that feels good. Alright, so here you can see got them for the most part finished up. Here let me there we go. So it's kinda weird. They're like they go up and in and then they're like straight across. So we'll see how they work. I think they'll be really well good though. As you can tell, they give you a load of added clearance. I think they look really good with the red too. So let's get this other side on, I guess. Oh, sorry. All right, I'm gonna get this other side on and I'll be back. All right, so I got these other two on. Um, they're looking really good, actually. I, I'm probably gonna do the behind the axle steering later. I just need to figure out how that's gonna work. I think this goes on the servo horn. 
I don't know. It's pretty funky. But, yeah. So, they're looking... Man, I dropped the camera. Again? Jeez. Alright, what, what the heck? So, these are looking actually, like, really, really good. I think these are going to be a huge help. These are nice links and all, but... They're not high clearance links, you know. These are going to help me slide over everything. So, yeah. These are going to be really nice. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and drive these. Alright, so we were just out crawling. And yeah, let my brother drive for a minute. Comes back and it's busted. So, I think we might be able to glue it. It's gonna be tricky, but I think it might be glueable. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll definitely be gluable. Alright, um, I don't think I have a screwdriver down here. I'll be back once I get a screwdriver. Alright, got a screwdriver. Let's get this guy unscrewed. And then see if we can fix it. Get that screw out. There we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna try to do it from that angle. Yep, that should work really good. Still lines up pretty well. So, get a, uh -oh. get a little, just a really tiny dot of super glue on there. Don't need to go overboard. Just kind of, I don't know if you can see that, just kind of push it together. This stuff drives pretty quick, I think, so that should be done soon. Just hold it, I think it's, what does it say? Five to ten second glue. That's pretty nice. And it kind of works. I'm gonna get a little more on the outside, I think. Then, uh, hit it with some accelerator. This stuff is amazing. If you've never tried accelerator before, then, oh, you're missing out. It made super gluing stuff so much easier. You don't have to sit and wait all night. That's what I used to do. And in anticipation, like hoping something works. But no, you just kind of put a little bit on. Do a little spray and you're good. Go get a little bit more on that side. Hit it with a little bit of that. Give it a couple seconds. Like that, look. that stuff's kind of nasty. It's all oily. Far enough of us to be having all over these cars, but nope, that feels pretty solid out here. You can put a little bit in that crack because that's probably a weak spot. I know of uh, uh, I think this is the exact same spot where uh, Ken from Shop Mini RC, I think he broke his the other day. We were at Mini Z Racing and he dropped it off a table. So, yeah, that's kind of what happens when you do that though. Well, I don't know what he, ex what else I expected when that happened. Uh, comment down below, actually, if you guys want to see, I can probably film some mini Z racing. If you guys want to see that, comment down below. We do it every Friday night at Littleton Hobby Town in Denver. It's pretty fun. All right, there we go, back together. Now maybe I can get some runtime in. I think it feels smooth. All right. I'll be back outside. Alright, so we got it outside on the outdoor course. You know, I realize these links are really weird. They're, like, straight. They're not bent in or anything. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really a fan of it looks-wise because it's not the most realistic thing ever. I don't see the harm in it. But, yeah, let's get this guy out here. Let's see what's happening. See if I can find a little, a couple little spots to get it hung up. Rear is looking great. I had to trim a, lot, a bunch of these fenders just because it did not like them. Uh, yeah, this might be a little face You look under there. No problem. No rubbing or anything. So this is great. Oh, come on, buddy. You got it. You got rear steer. Get over. 
Okay, let me through here, we'll see a little bit. No, uh oh. Oh, that's kind of my dish there. This rock is always a hanger. I think always hooks people up under there. Not with these tires anymore. These links. So much better without all that stuff. So, whoop, it was kind of a nice little spot. Easy to use to do Change the tail around. I'm going to come over here and just this a really hard line that I made up the other day. This thing is pretty fun. Really sketchy. If you fall, you're falling a long ways. Oh, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to make it right now. See, I'm not hung up on my links at all. It's just hung up on that little... That my diff down there. Oh man, almost went over. Uh, let's see if I can stay a little bit more inside this time. Oh, see, right back down. That's all right, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Didn't feel like it. I'm gonna try to kind of crab walk my way around there. Oh, I just did not like that. This line's really tricky. It's definitely doable, but it takes some work because you get the tires way up on here and your other one's down there and it's just chaos. Oh man, oh, I can save that. Oh, almost, there we go. All right, so that just brings me back up to where we were. So just quick. Oh, got stuck up on the side. All right, let's cut back to the start here. This? Descent is a really steep thing. My reverse is not working at all there. Ah, man, I'm gonna have to. That's weird. This is my reverse, and this car has been really, really weird lately. Get down along here. This, none nah, of this is really that hard. I'm gonna have to worry about getting home work. This part right here, you either will make it or you won't. And I'm not gonna make it now. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Man, these magnet mounts are great, but they uh, pick up a lot of stuff. This line's pretty cool. Getting a nice little crack in that turn. Get real off camera. Under here, I think we might. We didn't hit once. That's awesome. Yeah, these links are huge. Yeah, I have no reverse at all right now. So I can't make it up that. Here's another one. We get hung up a lot on the lips and oh, right up and over. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I did not hit once. You see, if I set it there, normal links would be dragging across that. These links have no problem getting up this at all. These things are amazing. Let me get up to the next course real quick. All right. This course should be a little more test for you guys. Up under here. Got hung up a little bit. Oh man. I'm gonna skip through this part. There's so many spider webs through here right now. I have no idea why they're spider webs. I mean like this is Colorado. Come on, we don't have anything like that here. Uh-oh. No reverse. Yeah, what the heck? I need my reverse right now. See how you can spot down here, I think I'll make it. Maybe I'll get... Nope, nothing there. Here we go. This guy hangs you up a lot. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm just barely touching my links there. So that's pretty sweet. Man, I need my reverse. What's up with that? Rear steer really helps getting around a lot of this like tight stuff. It's really nice to be able to just put your back end wherever you want it. 
you can turn so sharp too. And it's really Oh, see I had a little bit of reverse there, but it's not that's not full reverse. I'm gonna check some some of that stuff out. See the tunnel here. I don't know what that is. It could be my receiver. I don't think it's my controller because I run my SX10 and my Mini Z on the same controller. Yeah, see now I'm barely going in reverse. Okay, I really don't think it's the controller because I haven't had any issues with any other cars. Yep, let me go back into that little hole there. Turn my rear end around here. Oh. Yeah, I need that reverse. That's really annoying. That it's just not good. I think it's my receiver. And you can see we're hung up a little bit down there because that's one heck of a rock. See, my reverse is just right there. I need some more reverse. Like, what the heck? I guess I just gotta be a better driver. Alright, this one I need reverse for. So I'm gonna square up to this a little bit better. Yeah, nope. See if I can make it one turn up this little bonus line thing here. There we go, right up and over. So, yeah, tell me guys what you think about these links. Um, thank you, Ken, for sending me these. This helps out the channel a lot. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, share this. So, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. This is Topple RC.